Hi YouTube, it's me, Malik Davis. Thank you for stopping by 40 Pieces of Me. Today I am going to create a towel mosaic wall picture. Um, you'll only need a couple of items. Um, I try to make the projects that I do um, least materials as possible. Uh, as I stated, I want to try to make everything uh, very, very cost effective. Of course, you know, I had to go visit my favorite store, the Dollar Tree. I think it's everybody's favorite store. Um, this project will be exciting for me because I get a chance to introduce you to uh, my mosaic artwork. So that's why I've decided to incorporate the mosaic artwork. So basically, let's get started. What you'll need, everybody's familiar with the mirror candle holders uh, from the Dollar Tree. We'll need 14 of those to start the project. Um, you'll need, of course, E6000 glue, um, preferably the clear kind, but I'll be honest, if I didn't have the clear I would use whatever color E6000 I had, whether it be black, white, or clear. We're going to make it work for us. Um, the next thing you will need is a canvas. Um, canvases don't cost a lot, uh, but of course, we want to spend as least as possible uh, you can use a different size canvas, but the one that I'm going to use for this project is a 18 by 24 inch canvas. It actually came two in the pack at Michael's. And as I stated, we're going to be cost efficient as possible. So I would suggest before you go into Michael's and just purchase um, a canvas, take a look at this. This canvas for two was originally $14.99. I went in the clearance section and because my canvas had a small puncture in it, I got two canvases for $3.75. In making a project like this, no one is going to see that you have a small puncture there. If it was going to be a piece of art that was going to reveal the canvas, then I would say no. Honestly, I would probably try to find a way to mend it. In this project, you will also need broken mirror, broken glass. Um, this is basically sometimes, depending upon what type of project I'm going to do, I can order it from the company um, with the pieces of tile or mirror and it's some small pieces of mirror that's incorporated in these uh, in this tile uh, so you can make it from tile or mirror i'm just gonna sort of freestyle it and however i feel when i get to that point is when i'll decide what tile i'm going to use in regards to whether it'll be mirror or it'll be tile um a lot of times people aren't aware that mirror actually comes in all different colors. Um, and I just wanted to show you uh, the different colors that mirror actually comes in. This is a gold mirror and it's absolutely gorgeous if you see it on a, a piece of art. Of course, we know the regular silver tone mirror but they also have red mirror so I'm just going to decide I'm going to play it by ear and freestyle it of course my mirror is already my mirror and towel is already cut up uh, because some I ordered that way some I cut up uh, from an art show uh, that I did here in my city a couple of years ago. Um, so I have a lot of mirror and grout. Um, I always use the unsanded grout so that it doesn't scratch uh, any type of mirror that I'm using or any um, tile that I'm using. So this is just some grout that I had at the house. It was, um, I think it's like a grayish color. So that's what I'm going to use today. Like I stated, we're pretty much just going to freestyle it and see where it goes so to start off 
I've already measured everything. Um, so I basically know how this is going to work. But what I'm going to do, just to give you an idea, I am going to go back over it so that you can see. We're just basically going to outline the mirrors. I've already removed the little feet off the back of the mirrors. Um, probably would work best since we're placing it on the canvas. If you choose to do so, you can. If not, if you can make it work for you without removing them, fine. But I just think that the feet, without the feet, it will work best. So I already had sort of measured that out. And if I need to move them, then I can, but I'm actually going to go through and place them on the tile. And if I need to move it over, I can. Either way, you'll see it'll be a very easy and painless project. What we'll spend the most time is actually doing the mosaic pieces. Um, that probably will go a little easier for me since the pieces are already cut. Another thing that I wanted to mention, often you will hear me mention a glass cutter. Some people call them glass nippers. This is what I use to cut glass when I need to trim it and make sure that it's according to whatever project that I'm doing. These nippers, they last. The wheels, you can just sharpen the wheels, but these nippers, the actual wheels will last forever. Um, I ordered this from the manufacturer where I normally order my mirror and my towel at, but they also sell these now in Hobby Lobby. So this is a very, very good tool to have, a uh, easier, faster way um, for most that's not really into cutting glass or some people will say, no, I don't want to cut glass, but I think we're staring away from the broken mirror syndrome. Um, I, it's actually been quite beneficial to me, uh, but you can find this in Hobby Lobby. So a great tool to have, or if you choose to put it in something and break it with a hammer, have at it. Because I actually do sometimes as well, just depending upon the project. So back to placing the tile mirrors. Once we finish, they all will actually be even. So what we're going to do, of course, we know this part is going to sink down. So once we actually finish placing the mirror on there, we're actually going, to, we're actually going to turn it over so that everything can meet. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the first one off. And I'm going to give myself a generous amount since I'm using canvas and not cardboard or foam board. Um, one of the reasons I decided to use canvas because you have that extra support. I'm just going to do it this way, but as soon as we finish, I'll actually um, turn this over to make sure that everything adheres. So I'm just going to lift each one of these. And I'm going to put glue. 
So I'll do that and get all of them placed. And then I'll come back when I'm about to turn it over. I always tell, even if I'm doing an art class, I always tell every, everyone that there's no right or wrong way when you're dealing with mosaic pieces. So I'll come back to you as soon as I get them all laid. Okay, so now everything is completely dry. So what I'm doing now, and once I clean, I'm just cleaning off some of the glue. Um, I actually went over with fingernail polish remover, any places that I had glue, um, as I advised in another um, video. Fingernail polish remover is really, really good in order to remove glue. Um, if you find something that works better with removing glue off of glass and mirror, please let me know. But so far, it's been, I've been pretty successful in using the fingernail polish remover. Um, I'm not cleaning these like I would clean them before I place it uh, on the wall. But I just wanted to clean it up some so that I'm able to see what direction I'm going with this. And I also want to show you what I did to make sure that everything actually adhered to the canvas. So this is where we're at so far. But what I did in order to make sure that the, all the mirror did adhere to the canvas. I have a towel up under there so it won't stretch up the counters. It's not marble or anything spectacular like that, but you still want to be mindful and take care of things. I went through and I put four of these on the, on the canvas um, just to make sure that all parts of the mirror was adhering to the canvas. Um, so that was just another little trick for this particular project. So now that everything has adhered, what I couldn't decide what type of towel or mirror that I would use. Um, so I'm just going to mix silver mirror and I have this mirror that's almost like, it almost looks like it's a rough edge, but it's actually a flat edge on top of it. So I'm just going to mix, um, different mirrors in the mosaic part of it. And because I'm going to use the dark grout, I'll just throw in um, a couple of uh, black pieces of mirror in order to make everything all coincide. But it's basically whatever works best for you or whatever works with your decor, you be the one to decide that. It would actually look very, very nice with just the silver mirror. But as I stated, I have to have some form of color. So since I'm toning things down, this is where I'll actually find my color. I'm just going to place my mirror on the board like that because I want to work as quickly as possible. Oh, I dropped a piece. So, and then I have these bags um, with the red and gold mirror, which are smaller pieces from some artwork that I did before. So basically what I'll do, I'll just start off I'll put my pieces closer together. Um I'm using smaller pieces. 
You use what works best for you and what's more time effective for you. But I just feel like if I'm going to create a mosaic piece, I want it to look extremely professional. So I'll use smaller pieces um, and put them together. I won't put anything directly close to the edge because I'm going to grout it. And I just want it to have that look almost like something you would see in Pure One. Um, that's basically where I want to go with that. So I do leave spaces in in between. And some of these are like iridescent. That's the wonderful thing about mosaic pieces. It's no wrong or right way um, to do it. going to bring out a couple of these just so that I can mix the smaller pieces in as well. gonna do now that we have I think I properly have it grouted I'm going to take the excess off as much as possible with this go back over it This 
is just to make sure that I don't have any holes. So for right now, I'm going to push that back. Okay, so now I have that portion grouted and I just have this bucket and just with warm water, what I'm going to do is just go through and take off the excess grout. And you know, when you start dealing with the grout, you may rinse your water several times and your hands may end up doing the process of this looking like hands that one wouldn't want to hold, but it's okay. It's going to be worth it in the end and everything cleans up. I just learned not to let the grout sit. And if you would like to, you could actually go and grout um, in between here if you like. Be careful going over this because you can uh, cut your hands. And if these, this project is something that you like, you can actually do this project with your child. Um, a lot of the craft stores, um, including Hobby Lobby, you'll learn that's one of my favorites. A lot of the craft stores, they actually already sell um, tile and mirror that's cut and it doesn't have such rough edges. Um, that's one thing that kids, um, are, it's kid friendly and that's what I normally refer to it as kid friendly tile because it's not rough edges. If you'll notice you'll notice that the, the um, canvas is going to loosen up some because you have the water on it. But the good thing about it is once you actually finish that process it'll harden back up. So I'm going to just clean it off some once I get it cleaned off some, uh, then I'm going to let the drought dry and we can resume with the project. So what I'll do, I'll just finish, see, and once you wipe, you can see where some holes may not be filled and when you see that while it's still wet it's the best time to do it just go back in in those areas and fill it up so I'm gonna let this dry uh, probably maybe I'm gonna check it in about 45 minutes and then I'll come back to it Make sure that your these areas are all filled. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back to it. Decided because I did mention that you can go through and grout the lines. I decided that I thought it would look more uniform if I did that. So, I am actually in the process. And I just wanted you, I cut the video back on um, because I wanted you to see exactly what I'm doing. And it's not complicated at all. It's just I'm going 
through. So you'll see hints of that same and everything looks like it's all done. You'll see hints of that, that grout in between the tile mirrors. Now this is my first time this particular project. This is my very first time doing this. So don't you feel like it isn't something that you can't do? Because we're both trying it out together. And remember what I said about mosaic work. There's no right and wrong way to it. It's all about what makes you feel comfortable and what you like. I didn't even go back and get another stick. I kept the same stick that I had. Um, this particular towel. Because somebody will say, oh gosh, you're using a towel. It's not a good towel. It's one of my crafting towels. So I just... When, you, when you're doing crafting or you're doing artwork and you get a feeling, you just go with it. So I decided this would make it look more uniform and I went with it. Gonna let that dry. And I'll probably put it on a board when I get ready. A foam board or something so that it doesn't make a big mess on the counter. If you have a different space to work in, that's great. Um, I don't have a lot of space or places that I would do this at, so this is, this is why I made a space on the counter. And just make sure that you have that in there good. I'm going to... Grab me a little microwave dinner. I guess I shouldn't call it a microwave because I don't own a microwave. I don't use a microwave, so everybody always laughs about it. Um, I'm going to open up a microwave, microwavable dinner, and I'm going to heat it. And I will come back to you, and we'll see where we're at in the process but we definitely want to let that dry and I'll grab something to eat and I'll come back okay okay so what I am going to do now I am going to wipe some of this off. Let's, let me put hot water. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm doing... I'm going through and I am wiping down the grout. Um, it's still soft, but I'm just getting this off before it hardens. Um, as I put it earlier, I had a mishap before with a piece of art where the grout actually hardened on me. So... I didn't want that to happen. So now I'm just wiping off the excess. Uh, since it was being done, done on canvas and that's per se um, fabric, I wanted to let it harden a little bit more. We know all of this will come clean. And I'm wiping off as much, even in between the cracks, because I just want it to be a hint of the grout 
in between the cracks. So as we know, I'm on my countertop, so I'm pulling it over so any excess grout, I have like plastic bag um, in my sink. And what I'm doing, I'm just letting the excess go on the bag. So that way it's an easier cleanup. I've done some of it with the old rag as well because I want to be gentle on the mirror but we still need to get it off. And this is always the fun part with mosaics. <laughs> Or shall I say the messy part? This is just basically clean a uh, clean up, but I wanted to make sure that you got this portion of it as well. So I'll just continue to clean up that portion and I will um, resume once I get it get the majority of that cleaned off. Okay, so as you can see um, how it's coming along. Um, what I am actually doing, because it still needs to dry, I am just actually going through with a paper towel and I'm just wiping the excess grout off of the towels because what we'll need to do, um, once I get the excess off, I'll go back through and it dries. I'll go back through then with something wet and wipe each individual piece so that I don't continue to get the canvas wet. Um, because when the canvas gets wet, the canvas has to dry in order to be in its natural state. And once again, what I'm going to do so that it'll fall this way, outer instead of in, sinking in, I'm going to take it on this towel and I'm just going to lay it over so that it follows that way. So, of course, this will take some time. Um... But this will cut down on the cleaning time when it actually dries to go through and polish everything. Um, so I'm just going over it and just wiping the excess off. So I didn't want to leave any steps unseen. So that's why I decided um, I came back so that you can see after I clean this part off. And it's not a big difference, but I just wanted it to be that dark color in between. So basically, in order to get it off on that side, I just went through with the paper towel uh, and just started wiping. 
And once it dries, I'm thinking it's more or less like a gray color. Because this part is sort of sunk down because it's a board behind uh, this canvas. It's a bar that they have behind this canvas. But then we'll turn it over and when it dries, it'll dry falling. It'll fall this way. So this is going to take me a while to do. But I just wanted to uh, make sure that you've seen this step of it. So if this is a project that you like and you want to try at home, um, you would know the full steps. Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to, my email will be down below, as well as you can comment and ask any questions uh, that you have. Because I have that bag, as I said, uh, down below to catch everything. That's where I'm actually brushing the residue off, too. Okay, so I'll come back after I get this cleaned up. Okay, so I did some cleaning to it. Of course, it dried. Um, just wanted to come back to you guys um, while... I still was in the process and things needed to be cleaned off. And I'll be honest, it'll probably be a month and I'll still be able to walk past and see a little grout and I'll clean that. But I think as a finished uh, product, it came out very nice. So I just wanted to show you how I would finish cleaning a mosaic piece. Um, I have these like disposable rags that I get from Dollar Tree. Um, and basically, I'm just spraying window cleaner, window cleaner on it because I don't want to get the entire picture. I don't want the um, canvas to get wet again. So I'm just going over and just trying to remove excess grout. Um, and what I'll do for the mural portion... I will, and I decided not to put any hardware on the back of it because as you can see, it's able to withhold. It even has, it even has like these grooves down here where you can actually set up something. Um, actually make sure that something goes in there. You can do actually the hooks. Um, so that's why I didn't put anything over it. A lot of things that I do, me and my daughter, we, we talk about it. My baby girl, she's 19. So I always say she's my she's my little business partner. Because some things that require me to draw with my mosaic work, um, she actually will draw for me. I'm not the best drawer. Um, so that part, I acknowledge. You have to acknowledge your flaws and, and move on with it. Um, but by putting the window cleaner on it, it helps out tremendously. So basically, um, it's not a lot left to clean because I've been wiping uh, for a while. But I just wanted you to see uh, how easy it was. You can e actually, as well, you can take fingernail, fingernail polish remover. Uh, the the one I think with um let me check 
the acetone fingernail polish you can actually take that and utilize it in regards uh, to getting grout off too if it's not a lot uh, like I said I had a mishap with the art picture and um, life didn't work that well fingernail polish it cleans a lot but it didn't clean that off for me so that's just basically um, what I'm doing here and I'll just clean it up Where I'm going to uh, place it just to show you how well it turned out that's probably not even where where I will keep it at but I just wanted to give you an indication and get some good clear shots uh, of it Like I said, I'll probably continue um, to go back and clean up that afterwards. But I'll probably continue to go back. Um, but I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm very pleased uh, with the mosaic work. When I bring it closer like that, you can actually see some places where um, it still needs to be cleaned, but I'm pretty, pretty proud of it. Well, once again, thank you for watching this video. Um, this was a piece that I actually gave to someone as a gift. And I wasn't able to show it in place because the video that I made of it actually hanging on the wall, I deleted it accidentally. Um, so I was very frustrated. And in all honesty, I wasn't going to post this video. So I do thank you so much for taking time to watch. Once again, my name is Malik Davis. And as always, I greatly appreciate you stopping in at 40 Pieces of Me. Have an absolutely beautiful night.